Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and in today's video I have four keto friendly crock pot meals that I cannot wait to share with you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking that red subscribe button and also giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Now let's go get to cooking. Right, y'all so the first thing I'm gonna do for this first crock pot recipe is I'm just going to add a half a cup of chicken broth to the bottom of my slow cooker and then I'm gonna add a packet of ranch seasoning mix now the recipe itself actually calls for one tablespoon but <laughs> I don't read so <laughs> I dump the whole thing in but you know what it adds more flavor and it's all good And the next thing I do is I add my chicken breasts uh, to the crock pot and I do add my chicken breast while it is still frozen. I have experienced putting um, thawed out chicken breasts into the crock pot and you know what? It dries out. I don't like it. I think the chicken turns out too dry. So I put it in frozen and then it turns out perfect. So I lock the lid on and I put it on um, high for six hours. Once the chicken is completely cooked, you can take it out and I'm just shredding it with a couple of forks here and then I'm adding it back to the slow cooker. Once I get it all back in there, I just kind of toss it around to get the uh, flavor all in the chicken. And then once I've done that, now it is time to add the cream cheese and the shredded cheddar cheese, and then you're gonna mix that until well combined. Well, I forgot to show you that I had dumped in the cream cheese and the shredded cheese, so I'm just showing you the box, and then just, there you go. I just, I thought my camera was recording, and it wasn't. <laughs> Once you get that good mixed up, you're just gonna add in a bunch more cheese and then put the lid back on your crock pot and let it melt. This dish was like really simple and easy to make. Everybody really liked it. I think this dish would probably be best on, now I know this is not keto, but if you were to like, I don't know, serve it with chips or something, I feel like there needs to be some kind of extra crunch. But once this was all done, I just added some uh, crumbled bacon that I had cooked up, some green onions, and I had roasted some broccoli in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes with some uh, oil and some salt and pepper. For this next crock pot recipe, I've got a three pound chuck roast sitting right there. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get my dry rub all together. And what I'm gonna do here in this bowl is add my chili powder, cumin, paprika, pink salt, oregano, and red chili flakes. And then I'm gonna set that aside. I'd also like to add that, you know, this uh, recipe was so good that my husband and I ended up having it the next day um, heated up with some uh, eggs and cheese and an omelet. Oh my God, y'all, it was so good. That video will be coming out pretty soon. So the next thing to do is add some diced onion to the bottom of your slow cooker. And I just so happen to have these already chopped up in my refrigerator. Add some minced garlic and the tomato paste, which was perfect because remember that chili recipe that I had made? Well, I used the rest of that tomato paste for this dish and so nothing went to waste. Perfect. Then I'm also gonna add some lime juice and, a, and then I'm gonna mix that all together. The next thing I did is I put my chuck roast on top of the onion mixture and then I sprinkled the dry rub right over top of it and rubbed that around really good. Put the lid on it and put it on high heat for six hours. Well, we ended up turning these into tacos with some low carb tortillas. I had to show you TJ's plate because I got so excited that I had already bit into mine. So this is what that looks like and it was so good. All right, y'all, for our next crock pot recipe, we're gonna be making some broccoli cheese soup. These are the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using uh, this broccoli here I picked up over at Kroger. Uh, some cream cheese, some shredded uh, sharp cheddar cheese, 
Parmesan cheese, a heavy whipping cream. This is about, about two tablespoons of butter, chicken broth, and some salt and pepper. For this next recipe, I start off by using these broccoli florets that I had gotten over at Kroger. And I'm just going to chop them up into smaller pieces. And I'm going to be adding five cups to this bowl. Next into the crock pot goes the butter, the cream cheese, whipping cream, chicken broth, and water. And then you're going to mix that until well combined. Now my cream cheese was not softened like um, it says to have it in the uh, directions. Um, you know what? I get too excited. I'm like, yeah. And so I just pulled it right out of the refrigerator and threw it in there. No big deal. It melts pretty easy. The next thing I do is I add in some Parmesan cheese and the broccoli and then I put the lid on it and I put it on high for three hours. Once my timer was up, I just added two and a half cups of sharp shredded cheese and then just mixed it until it was good and melted. At this point, I also added in my uh, salt and pepper. You can do it to taste, but I did about a teaspoon of each. Once that was all done, I just spooned it into our bowls and I made some grilled cheese sandwiches to go with it. Mine is half a grilled cheese made with low carb bread. And yes, I do have half of a tomato right there. Okay, for this recipe, these are the ingredients that we are going to be using. Starting over here, we have got some basil, some parsley, uh, black pepper, uh, garlic powder, pink salt and Italian seasoning. Then we have a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, some mozzarella cheese. However, in this recipe, you can also use Fontina if you like that instead. Some minced garlic, some eggs, um, shredded uh, Parmesan cheese, avocado oil. Uh, you can also use some uh, olive oil if you have that instead. Some pork rinds. You would probably want to use the original. The hot and spicy does have some ingredients that some people don't like in their keto diet, but this is what we have on hand and some ground turkey. Last but not least are the turkey meatballs. Now I start off by cubing up some of this mozzarella cheese. Now I prefer to use Fontina cheese. In fact, it even suggests using it in the, um, the website I had found this from, which by the way, all the websites I found every, um, recipe will be linked in the description box down below. So make sure you scroll down and check those uh, websites out. So it does suggest using uh, Fontina cheese or mozzarella. I had mozzarella, so there you go. Now to make the meatballs, I've got two eggs here. I'm gonna whisk those really quick. Then I've got some pork rinds set aside that I had grinded up already. Uh, I'm also going to add the cheese and seasonings and mix that in with the turkey. Now this recipe also calls for two and a half pounds of turkey and I only had one pound. So, oh well, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> but anyway, if you had the two and a half pounds of turkey, you should be able to make about 24 meatballs. I made about 15. Now to make these meatballs stuffed, I just grabbed a little bit of meat and then grabbed a cube of cheese, stuck it there in the middle, a little bit more meat on top of it, rounded about in my hands until it was in the shape of a meatball, and then there you go. For 
the marinara sauce, I start off with the crushed tomatoes and I put that into a new bowl. I add some uh, minced garlic, some uh, avocado oil, even though the recipe does call for extra virgin olive oil, but I have avocado oil. Either way, it's totally keto friendly. And I add some basil, parsley, salt, and pepper and mix well. To get it all in the crock pot, I just add a cup of marinara sauce to the bottom of my crock pot, add all the meatballs in there in a nice even layer. However, if you do have a bunch of meatballs because you use a lot more meat than I did, it's okay. Put all your meatballs in the crock pot, pour the rest of the marinara sauce on top, and then I put the lid on it and I set it for four hours. Is done, done, done. Ooh, I gotta give that a big stir, but that looks really good. Now, for those who are not doing keto in this house, I'm doing a little bit of this pasta. Doing a little bit of this pasta. Uh, my kids do not do keto. TJ is doing more of like a low carb thing, so I'm doing the pasta so they can have their meatballs and pasta together. I will not, I'm just gonna have the meatballs. But this is just an option. <laughs> 